are at Molivos, and I'm here with Diane Kuchilis. Thank you so much for having me Thank here. Thank you. So today we're going to be talking about Greek food. You're going to be cooking us a recipe, but you're also going to help us just get started on the basics of Greek food. So, you know, we have olives, we have feta, but what do you really need to get started cooking Greek? Olive oil, yes. number one, which I have in my olives right now. Sounds good to me. And olives, of course. <laughs> a little bit of oregano, feta cheese, which is sort of the national the cheese of Greece. Yeah. Sheep's milk cheese or sheep and goat's milk. Mm. Lemons, mm -hmm. garlic, olive oil, olives, oregano. So if you have this in your in your kitchen, <laughs> right. you can pretty much make You're anything ready Greek. To go. The essence is about balance. Mm -hmm. um, it's about seasonality. Things like cinnamon in, in tomato sauces. That's very Greek. And that's, people don't sort of always, they don't really expect that. Uh, fennel is a very Greek uh, mm. flavor. We use it a lot, fresh fennel. Acid is an important flavor component in, mm. in many Greek dishes. So there's always that balance. You're looking for that balance. Well, how does Greek food get that, you know, healthy side of it while also having this like very rich flavor to it? Okay, the flavors are vibrant, right? Mm. Greeks like robust flavors. The healthy aspect comes from two things, comes from all these wonderful ingredients. Mm. Greek food is not a, it's not a technique heavy cu cuisine. Yeah. It's pretty simple, the techniques are pretty simple, the sauces are simple, but there's an element in this kind of food, and I don't know if it's just the Greek character, <laughs> but um, you know, we love to feed people. Yeah. And I think that there's a certain, there's a built-in hospitality, there's a hospitality in our DNA. There's sort of the physical healthy, mm. physical healthfulness yeah. that's part of the cuisine, but there's also the emotional health mm. that comes with yeah. sharing this kind of food and right. relaxing around the table and drinking a little wine and kind of just letting yeah. your hair down. Well, you're going to make a dish yeah. for us today, yeah. a traditional Greek dish. What are you making? I'm making a dish um, from the island of Lesbos. That island um, is very well known for the, the incredible sardines, mm -hmm. um, really good olive oil, um, ouzo, well, some of the best ouzo in Greece is produced in, on the island of Lesbos. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a very simple um, baked sardine dish. Wonderful. Will you show us the steps? Absolutely. So now we're in the kitchen and I'm going to make my baked sardines dish. Just sprinkling a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We've already cleaned the sardines. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I have garlic that I've cut into really uh, thin slivers. I'm just going to mix that in with the sardines. A little bit more extra virgin olive oil, Greek olive oil, and a couple of spritzes of ouzo. So in case you don't know what ouzo is, this is the national drink of Greece. It is an anise flavored liqueur. Mix this a little bit, gently mix the sardines, I don't want them to fall apart. And I'm just going to now place my sardines. I chose a, a recipe that is really easy for anyone to do at home. Sardines are one of the healthiest fish in the Mediterranean. Good omega fatty acids and all sorts of other nutritional benefits. I'm just gonna pour my marinade over that. So in this dish, I am squeezing some fresh tomato slices between my sardines. So we talked about how vibrant uh, Greek cuisine is, the flavors are vibrant, but the colors are also really alive and vibrant, and I think this is a really good example of a beautiful dish. You just look at it and you know it's healthy. So I added tomatoes, lemons. I'm gonna add a little bit of another very traditional uh, Greek ingredient, capers, sprinkled over the top. Some beautiful fresh oregano. So just a little bit of Greek olive oil over the top. And just to get some crunch in there, because food is about balance, not only of flavors, but also of textures, right? Just a little bit of breadcrumb sprinkled over the top. This is what our dish looks like before it goes into the oven. You can see it's really vibrant. Everything looks alive in here. Sardines are really healthy. Lemons, tomatoes, great extra virgin olive oil. This is going right into the oven. So that will bake at uh, 375 for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. The sardines are small. We don't want to overcook them. We want them to be nice and whole and not falling apart. Wow, it's ready and it looks really good. I want to take this out a little bit carefully because they are pretty delicate. I can't not finish this dish with a little bit of olive oil. And there you have it. it looks great. <laughs> 